Okay, a few comments on the discussion we had in physics class today. <coughs> Asking everybody to come up to the board with one of the problems that they have some ideas about and present what they have to us. Um, first one was a wheel. We've got a mass here, got gravity acting down on it, and you have the vector from the origin out to this point. You also have uh, an arrow here and an arrow here. Uh, and these vectors represented by these arrows really don't represent anything important. Um, so I'm going to make a little adjustment to this. Okay, you could call this the x-axis. You could call this the y-axis. You wouldn't end it at the radius, at, uh, at the rim of the circle. So fin labeling, you would do that. Uh, you also have an r parallel and an r perpendicular. R parallel being the component of your r vector, and this is your r vector. So we probably want to label that. It's drawn here, and that's very good. But there's our our vector. And our R parallel is what we get when we project this vector onto the Y axis. So here's our R parallel. And our R perpendicular is what we get when we project onto the X axis. Just to clarify that. Most of that was in the picture, but we want to be very clear about what everything means. Okay, so now we want to calculate f net dot r, f net cross r, cross product. And actually, it should be r cross f net. And I actually think I wrote that backwards when I stated the problem, okay? Um, that didn't occur to me when I looked at this because the magnitude is going to be what it is anyhow. Okay. Now we know that the magnitude of a cross product of two vectors is the product of the magnitudes. So if F stands for the magnitude of F net and R without the arrow again stands for the magnitude of R and theta is the angle between them, well there is the magnitude. Um, we want to understand that, though, in terms of a vector diagram. So, <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to put R and F net in a diagram with the same initial point. Okay, then we're going to do a projection. Actually, uh, maybe I'm not going to do the projection. Um, well, I'll draw the projection line. Okay, the projection is a dotted line. Projection of F net onto R. Oh, sorry. That's not what I want to do. I want to project R onto F net. Uh, the problem talks about uh, R perpendicular. So we really want to get the R perpendicular, which is the component of R perpendicular to F net. Now if we extend the line of F net and then project the tip of the R vector onto that line, we'll have a right angle here. And our projection is here. Now that's the projection. I don't want to label it there. Onto F net of the R vector. I've written it here sort of, but very small. But this is what I've written. That is the component of F net parallel, I'm sorry, the component of R parallel to F net. That's our R parallel vector. That would be this vector in the picture. 
the vector that we want is the component of r perpendicular to f net. So our r perpendicular vector would be this. And that's going to equal r minus r parallel. And why should that be equal? It's because your r parallel, which is this projection here, plus this r perpendicular is equal to r. Well, to say that r perpendicular is r minus r parallel is the same thing as saying that r perpendicular plus r parallel equals r. So here's our r parallel, our r perpendicular in terms of r and r parallel, r parallel being this projection vector of r onto f net. Now, why is that important? Well, we're trying to calculate the cross product of R with F net. Why? Because that's the net torque that accelerates this system. Okay. Now, we've got this formula for magnitude of R cross F net, even though it was written backwards here and on my paper. Um, <coughs> another thing we can say is of R cross F net. And the other thing that I'm not going to write down because there isn't a lot of room is that you do R cross F net. Well, here's R and here's your F net, presumably gravitational force is a net force. You use the right hand rule and you find that that's into the board. You end up with net torque equal to r perpendicular times f magnitude of r perpendicular times magnitude of f net times the negative k vector. There's your torque. So you really need to you know, continue on with the problem and see what else you can determine from all this. Um, we mucked around a lot with the projection too much. People should be better with projections now. Um, Everybody has seen projections in linear algebra, everybody in the class, so you wouldn't want to review that. One person has seen it very recently, probably still processing it. Um, but we've talked about it earlier in the course as well. <coughs>